Hey guys, really quickly before the video starts, we wanted to announce that we're giving away $200 to one of you to our brand new store that has all the products that we use in our videos and some of the tools. And the reason why we're doing that is because we just wanted to show our appreciation to you for watching all of our videos and supporting us every week. We couldn't do what we do without you guys, so we're so grateful to you, we can't even explain it. But all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment down below what you're gonna buy from the store if you win the giveaway. So go check the store out, tell us down below what you're gonna buy, Hopefully you guys win and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have a leased 2022 Subaru WRX that's all covered in mud. And you heard that right, it is a lease that has under a thousand miles on it. Now the owner is a teenage kid uh, who just leased this car not too long ago and he's using it for what these cars are made for. Now, as some of you might know, I have a WRX myself. It's a 2017 model, but looking at this one specifically, he got every inch of this thing covered in mud. But I wanna ask you guys two questions. What do you guys think of the model of this new WRX compared to the older ones? I'm not the biggest fan of the 2022 compared to the older ones. I love mine and that's why I bought it. But also, how does it make make you feel seeing this leased car covered in mud and hopping into the interior it's no better there was mud in the front there was mud in the back it seemed to track its way all over the car so we definitely had our work cut out for us but we also had help from foster from mad detailing in this video he was still here in ohio when we got this car so if you guys want to check out his channel i'll leave that linked in the description because he helped us a ton and lastly, I did some of the interior detailing myself and I filmed it a little bit differently than we normally do to see if I can make it more satisfying for you guys than we ever have. So make sure you watch all the way through the video and leave a comment if you like it better or not. Anyways, enjoy the video. So if you take a quick look right in the front bumper on the bottom, there were slots. And when the owner took his car off roading, I think he drove it through some grass, which you'll see in just a little bit because a lot of grass was in there and we could not get it out unless we used a vacuum. You'll see all the different ways we tried to. We even stuck our hands up in there, but it was a pain. And now a word from our sponsors. So guys, when me and Brent first started to actually get subscribers on YouTube, we decided to do a merchandise drop 
And at the time, we had no idea the undertaking that it is trying to actually sell product or merchandise. And that's where we wish we had known about ShipStation. Whether you're starting small or scaling up, ShipStation is here to maximize your sales with minimal effort. Why should you limit your business to one store when ShipStation can integrate with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more, and make it a breeze for you to manage all of your shipping from one simple dashboard? You'll be able to save time with consolidated order management and automated shipping updates for your customers, and also easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times to get the most out of every cent. Join over 130,000 companies who have already grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation and get the same discounted rates as Fortune 500 companies, whether you're sending a stack or a truck full. So ship more and grow more with ShipStation. You can go to shipstation.com slash WDDetailing today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. So start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit shipstation.com slash WD detailing. And now let's get back to the detail. So pretty early on in the rinse process, we already knew we wanted to take the wheels off to get those clean and also get the wheel wells clean. So we went ahead and jacked up the car and took the wheels off of one side at a time and cleaned them and then put them back on and then jacked up the other side and did the same thing on the other side. And it made the process so much easier for us. That way we could get all the mud off of the wheel wells, the wheels and the underbody before we took it into the shop to continue the wash.
And now with the wheel and the wheel well all clean, it was time to put it back on and then go ahead and repeat the process three more times. And although time consuming, it's good to get it out of the way beforehand. That way later on, you're not getting mud everywhere and there's no mud coming out of random places and annoying you down the line. It just makes it a lot easier for you in the future. I should mention, while Foster from Mad Detailing is helping us here in this clip, if there's any other YouTubers out there who want to collab with us and you're near the Cleveland, Ohio area or you're willing to come out this way, send us a message on Instagram or our email and we would love to work with other YouTubers. It was a lot of fun collabing with Foster and we want to do it more. All right, this part is a little bit shocking, but at the same time, it's not just because of the way that the owner drives it off-roading. But we went ahead and used mad iron eraser all over the car, and there was a significant amount of iron in the clear coat of this paint. Now, I don't know if that's from the off-roading or not, but because this car is less than a thousand miles, I can't really think of how else it would be this bad. If you guys have any ideas, leave it in the comments below. I'm curious what you guys think. Alrighty, now directly moving on to the interior, the first thing we did was take all the trash out and we didn't take the seats out of this one because there's no way that we would have to extract underneath them. But hey, even though his car is getting filthy, at least he has hand sanitizer in his door so he can keep his hands clean.
Okay, now moving on to the door cards and the rest of the car, the vinyls and everything like that. We didn't get too OCD about vacuuming the carpets because at the end of the detail, we'll do a final vacuum. So we didn't need to get every single thing. But for doors and stuff like that, we're using an interior cleaner or an all-purpose cleaner with a soft bristle brush. And then we're following that with a microfiber towel and compressed air. That's really all you need to clean the inside of your car. You don't even need the compressed air. It's just a helpful tool. And with door jams as muddy as these and a cleaner interior, we didn't want to spray mud inside in case it was going to get all over everything. So out of precaution, we just waited until we cleaned the interior and it actually made for a pretty satisfying clip. Look at all that mud coming out of the floor mat. And for the finishing touches, we went ahead and applied our wax of choice, which is Colonite 845 to protect the paint, and then applied Mad Sleek tire dressing, and this car was good to go. Now, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, we just pulled a car out of a barn for the first time in a very long time, and when I tell you that we found something in the engine bay that has never been found in a car on our channel and probably on all of YouTube, I'm not kidding and I'm not clickbaiting. We have something so unique coming to our channel really soon. So you guys wanna make sure you're subscribed. You really don't wanna miss it. You're gonna be mind blown when we show you what we found in this car.